the good news uh, this week is, I guess I'd say prayer. Um, the Lord told me on uh, Friday. Now, normally I take Saturday, but people ask me, say, Jesse, when do you sleep? I sleep on Saturday. Um, Lord told me on Friday, he said, take your day today and pray and pray, 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 pray. And so I did. I prayed on Friday. I prayed a lot. I prayed more than I normally do. And I need to get back into prayer. It's just, it's just a thing. And what do I pray about? Oh, well, that's easy. The Lord taught us to pray. The Lord, it's called the Lord's Prayer. I mean, I, praying is not compl- it's not a complicated thing. Um, uh, dear God, uh, I, I agree with you. I, I generally don't disagree with you. Uh, if I disagree with you, I'm probably wrong and open to your instruction. Uh, I don't think that Jesus is like Loki. I don't think that you are like Odin. Uh, dear God, I don't believe that you are like Superman's father, Jor-El. Uh, I don't believe that you live in outer space. I believe that you created outer space. And that, arguably, outer space lives in you somehow. Uh, or another. Uh, but, ahem, I, I like you. I don't hate you. Uh, Jesus comes back to Earth and runs everything. I think that's good and not bad. Uh, so, you're welcome in my life. Uh, come and do the good things you want to do. You know, that, 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 that's how to pray. You know, it's not complicated. That's kind of the Lord's Prayer. Um, You know, give me my daily bread. Um, Jabez prayed that God would increase his borders and that he wouldn't cause pain. Praying, praying is... People make prayer a complicated thing, and it's not. And the Lord told me to pray, so that's what I prayed. I prayed for peace in the world and and justice uh, everywhere. And, uh, And for God to continue to give me daily bread and... Um, yeah, so that's what I did. And, and you know, when I prayed, I got 10 times more productive. You, you, you know that, you you know that if you'll take a short time to pray the things you need to pray, pray them a few times. Really, Lord, bring it. I mean, bring it. You know, if you take a little time to pray, your life will be more productive. You know it, so so do it. So I did it, and my life was more productive. That was what I did this week. Um, it, I suppose if I could share with you any wisdom of, of my random encounters this week, um, I'd say... I, 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 just, I just told a young man, um, careful with your, your joking. You're joking too much. He said, Why? I said, well, if you joke badly too much, if you have too many negative jokes, you insult your friends as a joke or, you know, cynical joke. If you have too much of that, then either your words have no power or your powerful bad words will hurt your life. This is a, you know, you want your words to have power. If you watch your words carefully... Everywhere you go, you know, try to say things that if they were true or, or if they continue, that that'd be good and what you want and stuff. That if taken literally, uh, you'd be happy with the results, you know. If you watch your words and try to make them good, then your life will, uh, you'll, your life will be better. Your words will have power to do good things in your life, whether you're praying or, or whether you're just living. But if you use bad words all the time, either your words mean nothing and then so you don't have the power to try to speak good things into your life. I mean, it, we're not talking magic tricks here, but 
your words can be a a positive force of good in your life. You know, we want more positive forces of good in our lives, right? We don't want more positive forces of bad in our lives. Uh, we want force for good. Your life isn't going to be totally shaped by your words. Um, but I mean, my goodness, why not stack the odds in your favor, man? You know, um, so I say, watch your words. And that's, that, that's why swearing is generally a bad idea. And you do know that the worst swear word of all is OMG. I won't say it. Uh, but what it's, well, the reason that that's bad is because it's a prayer. If you train heaven that when you call for God that you don't mean it, your prayer isn't going to do anything. I mean, I, I get this from people. I, I see people, they just, don't, well, God, I don't know. God just doesn't always answer prayer. Those are the ones that run around with OMG all the time. I'm like, well, duh, you've trained heaven to ignore you. Oh, oh someone called. Oh, oh, it's him. Oh, fine. You know. Seriously, do you view your words as a force, a positive force in your life? I don't mean positive as in happy. I mean a force as in it's doing something. You know, not not a negative force with reverse effect. Do you think your words are going to have more than zero impact in your life? If if you do, uh, then you're going to want to watch your words. If you don't think you need to watch your words, then guess what? What you say is one less thing to help you out. So I, well, I don't know. I mean, this is this is almost kind of a motive. You know, it's funny. I because I, I've been all week. I've been I've been developing and developing with Ubuntu stuff, and I've got some fun Ubuntu stuff. I'm going to release soon. I whatever you're doing on your computer. Your computer is about to get a lot. Well, I'll tell you, one thing you can do right now, if you don't have it installed, you need to get an SSD drive in your computer. And if you've got a notebook computer, laptop, you know, full, if you've got a notebook computer with a DVD drive, you can go get a kit and go to hardware, go to the computer shop, pull out the DVD drive, put in your SSD in that slot, and then plug your DVD drive into a USB. And then you've got your big, huge hard disk along with your SSD. SSD is amazing. You put Windows on an SSD or anything, it just runs so fast. 10 second boot up, boom. Applications open instantly. You actually do stuff. But I was I was going to write my semi self-help motivational type of book, Avenue Guru. I was going to get on that this week, but I've... Uh, I've had my buddy's um, computer that I'm supposed to install Ubuntu on for him, and that gave me opportunity to do some testing with some stuff I'm working on. So they just it wasn't in the cards this week. I had to roll with the punches and and go with the motion of the ocean. And uh, and he said that's fine. He says yeah, use my computer for testing. Fine, you know I'm I'm gone for a couple of weeks. Go take it. We got to do updates. It was broken anyway. Um, so yeah. Life happened to me, and, and I didn't complain. But anyhow, uh, since this seems to have been a theme all about motivational stuff, I might as well give you another idea on how things can be a positive force in your life by simply getting to the point. Some people would bend rules of gravity with friend or enemy to reward or punish all as they see fit. Others give justice even to enemies. We prove which type of people we are in the small things. As such, gravity, being both jealous and powerful, takes note and agrees with us. Those who would bend gravity become the objects of chronic bad luck, while chronic good luck finds those who respect universal justice. There are two ways to create good and bad luck. One is agreement with gravity. The other is work ethic. That is most everyone's life story. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com